so apparently Justice League had a test screen, right? And very people are saying it's epic. It's epic. It's great. It's meh. <laughs> I think that was like the last one uh, <laughs> I read. Somebody said, hey, it was meh. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many people actually saw like this test screen because, you know, they, you know, Warner Brothers can sue them, right? They sign waivers before they go into these screenings. So, people that are saying details about the movie uh, probably didn't see the test screen. They're just making it up because, like, if you if you got caught doing that, I mean, you're liable, right? So, I don't think anyone would want to do that. But, you know, I saw headlines keep popping up. Justice League spoilers. Test screening, you know. Like, <laughs> everyone's talking about spoilers. I'm trying to look for the spoilers, right? And I can't find any. It's just people say it's amazing, it's epic. Like, where's the fucking spoilers? I want to read some of them. <laughs> like, uh, they could literally give me the script in the movie, and <laughs> I'll still be excited to see the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I knew every exact thing that was going to happen in this movie, I still would be crazy hyped to see it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they can't really fool me, right? Like, I've read so many Justice League comic books, you know? I've seen everything related to Justice League in cartoon and movie form. Uh, no movies, actually. It's never been a Justice League movie other than an animated movie. So, you know, like, what could they... There's nothing that could shock me or surprise me that they're going to do with this movie. Like, I don't mind spoiler, spoilers. Like, <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> like, so what if you know what's going to happen, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you still got to see it happen. It's still all about... The journey getting there, right? If somebody just tells you the very end of a movie, uh, it doesn't fucking mean anything until you see the whole movie leading up to the end. Like, like I love using Star Wars as examples, even though I'm not really like <laughs> loving Star Wars as much as I used to. <laughs> but you could be like Star Wars Episode Five, big spoiler: uh, Vader is Luke's dad, and like you could just tell somebody that and. You know, if you told somebody that before that movie came out, they wouldn't believe you, right? <laughs> and if they did believe you, it still wouldn't be a whole lot of information, right? You still would have a whole movie to go through to get to that point. Spoilers really are nothing. I mean, we can kind of piece together the whole movie just based on the trailers that we've seen so far. You know, like we've seen like the first invasion of Earth with the Amazons and there's that like lava like fucking shooting through the ground and shit, and Steppenwolf smashes the ground with the goddamn axe and shit, and you see, in a, the very first trailer, you see a fucking, like, you know, Dark Ages fucking king fucking shoveling dirt onto a mother box, so we could put that together, that's the very beginning of the movie, like, that's the history lesson they're gonna give us, that's like 15 minutes of the movie that we already know, like, <laughs> so, the movie's only two and a half hours, uh, I hope it's three hours. No, that's not confirmed. I, I just hope it's three hours. <laughs> I'm praying it's three hours. <laughs> like, just fuck it, Warner Brothers. You know it's going to be a better movie. Just fucking put the three-hour cut out there. Uh, but it's probably going to be two and a half, so we already know the first 15 minutes. You know, what's the next 15? Uh, Cyborg in his uh, varsity jacket, right? Walking down that alley. After one of his football games, Silas Stone's working on something in the lab. Victor Stone's going to visit his dad. Uh, you know, we're cutting to Batman, you know, talking with Wonder Woman about how they got to put a team together and shit. Maybe we, maybe it starts with Wonder Woman, right? And she's in the fucking museum and she's, uh, takes out those hired goons that are taking those school children. Like that, maybe that's the opening shot of modern day is Wonder Woman saving people and then cut to later that day and she's like oh I didn't I haven't been doing anything today and then we see Cyborg and Batman and shit like that you know I imagine that's how they're cutting it together because Wonder Woman's so popular right now I feel like that's the first hero you have to show in this movie I don't know why but like <laughs> it seems like it's right you know she's got a lot of momentum coming off her solo film so if she was the very first thing we see in modern day Justice League you know after the history lesson, like, that that would be reasonable. I mean, so that's the first half hour of the movie right there. So, like, 
I really haven't thought this through at all, but you know, <laughs> just you know, talking out my ass and whatnot. <laughs> but you know, if I kept at it, you know, I bet like we could figure out what the whole two and a half hour movie is before we walk into it. So it's like, do we want to do that? <laughs> this is what I'm like debating within myself, like, or should I just not even think about it that much until the movie happens? But then again, it's like, I, I'm getting hyped no matter what, so I'm going to be thinking about it no matter what. <laughs> I can't not think about it. I don't know. But if I feel like if I keep predicting and guessing, I'm going to guess the whole fucking movie. And I don't think it'll matter because I'm still going to love it. <laughs> I don't know. It's all big clusterfuck. All big clusterfuck. There's going to be no way to avoid spoilers when they drop. You know what I'm saying? Somebody... Is going to say something about this movie. That they're not supposed to. Probably like a week before it comes out. Like the, like the worst. Like the last fucking second. <laughs> you know the last possible minute before the movie comes out. Somebody would be like. Oh here's the whole movie. You <laughs> know we saw an early screening. Because there's going to be early like screenings. Like a week before the movie comes out. There will be early screenings for special fans and shit. So you know. Those fans are going to see it. They all gonna stay quiet. You don't have to stay quiet after you see a fan screening. So all those people are probably like, well, yeah, they'll say what the whole movie's about. But it's a good sign that everyone's saying it's epic and it's awesome. It's amazing. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good sign. Uh, uh, then again, you know, they all could be lying. Like we don't know if these people actually went to the test screening. It all could be horseshit. Who knows? That one that said meth, though, <laughs> like, some guy fucking tweeted, uh, just saw Joseph's, like, it, it was very meth or something like that, like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you, then you must have not have looked forward to this, like, right, <laughs> like, you were probably not looking forward to that movie at all if you ever thought that, you know, but I think that's what's gonna come down to, if you're looking forward to the movie, you're gonna think the movies are gonna be, like, amazing, and, you know, it's going to be amazing to you, right? But if you're not looking forward to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you hate everything about it, if you're, like, feeding into the whole hate of the DCU, and uh, there's nothing about Justice League that's going to change your mind, you know? Wonder Woman did a lot to help the DCU in terms of, like, you know, not critical, but actual, like, uh, audience reception of these movies, right? People are going to give Justice League a huge chance because we're coming off of Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? They will be very open. And if the movie is slightly good, they're going to love it. I, <laughs> I feel like, you know, as long as they're not going in hating the film, they're going to like it at the end of the day. That's all that matters. The general people, the people who aren't hardcore fans, are they going to love this shit? Hopefully, you know, hopefully. But, you know, we'll see then. We'll see then, right? Uh, yeah, that's it for now. Just that news, you know, talking about all that shit. Who knows if half this shit is fucking happening. <laughs> I'll be shocked if Lex Luthor really isn't in the movie. <laughs> I'll be shocked. Uh, like, because Batman vs. Superman ends with him talking about, you know, Dark Side. you know? <laughs> like... He sees Steppenwolf in a fucking Kryptonian hologram, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, it'd be weird not to even have, like, a cameo of him. Like, not even a cameo. Not even, like, 30 seconds, like, of him saying, It was all me! Like, <laughs> like nothing, like... <laughs> uh, that's weird. Iris West, I can understand, though. Like, she's cut. I get that. You know, <laughs> I get it. Like, <laughs> she didn't need to be in Justice League anyway. Maybe if Justice League ends with Flash running into Iris West, that'd be funny. That'd be cool. Like, that'd be a neat little fucking thing. He accidentally runs into her, you know, but he's the Flash. Like, how that happened, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it'd be like a good little introduction of her. And you could do it right at the tail end of the movie, as the movie's wrapping up. So, the saying she's been cut entirely, I don't believe that really. Like, that could be her scene, you know what I'm saying? Like, that could be it, like a little 10 second... Right before the credits, you know, Flash runs into Iris West, you know what I'm saying? Turns a corner, you know, he bumps into her and shit like that. And that, that's it. Like, 
Like, there you go. Anyway, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, what y'all think about all that crap? Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.